Well, entomologists fear that an invasive species of aphids will impact profits for many local sorghum growers and also spread to the northern parts of the U.S. if left untreated. Action 4's Ashley Custer has those details. Sorghum is a cash crop for many local farmers in the Rio Grande Valley, but recent rains have prevented many from planting their crop all at once, leaving them vulnerable to several kinds of pests. When they all the plants are on the same stage, they don't have problems. But when you have plants of different stage, especially the ones that are planted late, they are going to have these kind of problems. The biggest problem currently facing the valley is the sugarcane aphid. This is a uh, relatively new invasive species. It appeared in the USA in 2013 and then it rapidly moved into the all the southern part of the USA. Texas A&M Extension entomologist Raul Villanueva explains that these aphids have the ability to reproduce without a male and at an alarming rate. One aphid can uh, lay a nymph, um, a small aphid of similar form and then five days later it's going that one is going to lay more aphids. Villanueva estimates that 15 percent of the sorghum crop harvested in the Rio Grande Valley was lost last year to this pest. He says it's why it's important to protect the approximately 300,000 acres that were planted this year. We need to be um, aware of what's happening in the fields. Villanueva says there is now an aphid tolerant sorghum but farmers still need to use pesticides to control the aphid population. When they are crowded situation of, of aphids, when they have large numbers of aphids, they start to develop wings. That is something Villanueva wants to avoid. He worries the sugarcane aphids will devastate sorghum fields across the entire U.S. if left untreated. It's why he's asking local farmers to do their part to prevent it. They need to be in the, in, in the field trying to see what's the population up there and treat this pest before they explode to populations that will be impossible to treat. Ashley Custer, Action 4 News. Villanueva says that sorghum grains are used to make a gluten-free flour and it is also used to make animal feed. Action 4 reached out to a local feed store who says they're not too concerned about the impact of the aphid affecting business because they say if there is limited sorghum available, the feed will likely be made with more corn.